G'day viewers, Oren here. Windows Subsystem for Linux allows you to install Linux utilities and services on Windows Client and Windows Server. Here we have a Windows Server 25 computer with Ubuntu installed, and I'm installing the open source web server, Nginx. When you install services that present to the network on Windows Subsystem for Linux, you can access them using the local host address in the browser on the computer on which WSL is running. But what if you want to make that Linux service running under WSL available to the network? Well, you can make a service like Nginx running on Windows Subsystem for Linux available to other hosts on your network by taking a few simple steps. The first is to configure port forwarding. Each Windows Subsystem for Linux instance has an internal IP address that's different from the host computer's IP address. You can figure out what this IP address is by running the command hostname dash dash all dash IP dash addresses. Here we can see it's 172.26.166.98. Next, you switch to the Windows host command prompt instance and use the net sh command to create a NAT proxy role that will forward an external port to the same port on the WSL instance. You do that with the command net sh interface port proxy add v4 to v4 Listen port equals 80, listen address equals 0, .0, .0, .0, connect port equals 80, connect address equals, and then specify the WSL internal IP. Once you've done this, you'll need to configure Windows Firewall to allow traffic in on that services port. If you install a Windows role, that should be available to the network. It automatically creates these rules. But because we're faffing about in WSL, we'll need to do it manually. We create the rule. And test it by jumping over to another host on the network. We enter the host computer's IP address 10.10.10.103. And we have access to the Nginx server running under WSL on the host computer. Important to remember is that by default, WSL gets a different internal IP each time the computer restarts. So keep that in mind if you want the connection persistent. In production environments, you're far better off running the Linux service on a Linux VM or a bare metal machine. But if you're mucking around in WSL and you want to publish your service to the local area network, well, this is one of the ways that you can do it. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.